Hello everybody, welcome back. It's Flash Rabbit here again and I'm on the TriCraft server today. Nice to see you. One of the jobs we've got for today is to sort ourselves out with a piglin bartering farm. Now I've got a couple of piglins in this little building here. In the new nether, in the 1.16 nether, there are a few things that we've got to consider to keep ourselves safe. Um, now, piglins won't bother us as long as we're wearing a piece of gold armour. The same can't be said for the hoglin. The hoglin is aggressive to us, whether we are wearing gold armour or not, it'll just come and butt us up the backside. So we've got to protect ourselves, hence this little building here. Uh, it's not much, it's just somewhere to keep us safe while we, uh, while we barter with the piglins. So, the other thing that keeps the hoglins at bay are warped fungus. These warped fungus, they don't like them, don't like them at all. So they'll avoid them at all costs. So we've got a few warped fungus dotted about, I need to get some more really, just to keep them out of the immediate area, uh, because they're not very friendly. And the other thing we've got to consider is that piglins don't like us opening chests. Now these two guys, it's not so much of a problem because they're trapped, they're not going to go anywhere, even if they do get aggro with us. There's nothing at all they can do except lift the sword up. This fella, however, over in this one, has got a crossbow. So if we lift up a, open up a chest, he immediately gets aggro with us. So what I've done is I've put a trap door over the face, and that way they can't see when we open a, a chest. They're not aware of it, so they don't get aggro with us. Like I say, it's this fella that can shoot us from a distance that worries me most. So I've been bartering with these guys for a little while before I started recording, and I've got this loot. I've got a pair of Soul, uh, Soul Speed 3 boots in my uh ender chest i've got myself an ender chest now which is fabulous so we've got the soul speed three boots which will let us walk much faster over soul sand which is absolutely fantastic um we've got m loads of fire charges we've got magma cubes glowstone dust you can see there fire resistance potions leather soul sand loads of stuff it's well worth having one of these farms on the go now the way i've done it is dead simple i put a button at the top here with droppers over the top of each of the piglins and there's red a redstone line running all the way along so when i press this button it shoots gold down into the cells they have a look at it make sure it's genuine and because there's a trap door in the way anything that they throw out just lands in the hopper below and goes into the chest as you can see there with this quartz so that's brilliant and we can just do this all day every day now i did think about putting a clock on here uh, so that it automatically shoots the gold into the cells every so often every few ticks um, but obviously we've got to measure the number of ticks it takes for these guys to hold the gold and then release their bartered item before the next piece of gold goes in and i just thought you know it's over complicated that uh, and it makes it excessively bulky as well because clocks are bulky there's no two ways about it so i thought well let's just keep it simple and we'll just have this button here along the top so that's what i've done and it works a treat and we can just keep going and going until we get the items that we want so we've got soul speed two boots there what have we got in here now just the same but yeah it's it's a brilliant little farm it keeps us stocked up with all the goods that the piglins uh, barter uh, and there's not much involvement from us except pressing a button so you can't get fairer than that really now i've still got to put a roof on this place i don't want to leave it open because if a cast flies past he's got to have me isn't he um, but before i do that we've got something else that we've got to do today i want some netherite i want some netherite armor or some netherite tools i'm not really fussed which uh, so we're going to go on a hunt for netherite so for that we need to go down and we need to go down to about level 15 which is the sweet spot for finding netherite scraps and i've got a technique that i want to show you so let's get right to it okay so here we are down at level 14 you can see there on the left hand side our y level is 14 and this is where we need to be for the best chance of finding netherite scraps now the technique that i'm going to use you've probably already guessed is beds if you don't know already if you try and sleep in a bed in the nether it explodes it goes boom and it goes boom big time so what we're going to do we're going to build some poke holes and we're going to put our beds in there 
try and sleep in them which is going to explode and destroy the netherrack around the area and hopefully it will reveal some netherite scraps that we can go in and collect now I'm very nervous at the moment because above us here is a dirty great big lava lake so there's a good chance that when we blow a, a hole a big hole in this netherrack that we'll get some lava flowing through but that's not so much of a problem uh, we've got some fire resistance potions from the piglin bartering so I'm going to neck one of those uh, to, uh, to help protect me uh, and we can then go in and close up those holes if they're not too big I mean if we get a big wall of lava coming down from above there's probably no point in trying to clear it up we'll just leave it and move on to the next bit now what I'm also going to do I'm going to enable my chunk borders by pressing F3 and G and that will show our chunk borders because netherrack sorry netherite scraps only appear so many times within each chunk so there's no point in blowing big holes in the same junk we might as well move on to the next one so with our chunk borders activated we can see where that chunk is and we can go from there so the first thing we've got to do is to dig a tunnel so let's get on with that okay so the first thing to note is that I'm stood this block here is level Y14 and if we have a look over onto the right hand side at the targeted block number you can see I'm looking at Y level 15 and this is the sweet spot now the most likely level that you're going to find netherite scraps is Y level 15 uh, and then second most is 14 and 16 so level 15 is your sweet spot now credit where credit's due this uh, technique was pioneered by Nembon. Uh, I'll put a link to his video in the description below. So the first thing we need to do is punch out a 2 by one tunnel, being careful that we don't come across any lava pools or lava lakes. We are, we've always got to be aware of that because above us there is that dirty great big lava lake in the nether. Uh, so we'll just punch Oh, that's three, isn't it? Oh, Wally. Right, okay, never mind. So we'll just keep going, and I'll just punch uh, punch out a little hole here. And then what we need to do is find the edge of a chunk. And that's why we've got the chunk borders on. As you can see here, this is the start of a new chunk. So what we'll do is we'll stand here at this chunk border, and we'll go five in, because that's as far as your pick will reach if you stood up against the wall. Now, the next thing we need to do is something that wouldn't goes against every grain in my body is to place a bed in the nether and try and sleep in it now as long as we're not on the same Y level as this bed we're now on Y level 14 this is on Y level 15 as long as we're not on the same Y level we will take some damage I'm gonna eat a carrot no I'm gonna blow up a bed <laughs> to eat a carrot and have a look at the bed but there you go that's what happens we took some damage but we're not dead is the important thing so we'll keep going along here now. We'll clear out all these fires and see if we've come across any netherite. I don't think we have. Uh, looking at this. No, we haven't. So what we're going to do now, we're just going to go again and stand up against this wall and we'll place our next bed. Now let's not... Uh, let, I, I'm going to have this gold. Uh, get rid of that. Right, okay. Um, now... No, don't want the black stone. I want the gold. There you go. Right, okay, so let's try and find somewhere where there's netherite. So it's a little. Oh, we've got some netherite scraps. Look at that straight away. Goodness me, I nearly missed them. Wow, brilliant. So we can break these. We can have these. Excellent. That's the first netherite that I've found ever. I've never found netherite before. So that is an absolute result. And it goes to show that this method, pioneered by Nembon, works an absolute treat. Now, I, I'm looking at this here, and I don't want the black stone, because, of course, that doesn't explode. So I'm just going to carry on down there, and we're going to place another bed. And do the same again. So we'll place that there, and try and sleep. <laughs> Boom! There we go. <laughs> we've got another huge explosion. Fantastic. Oh, I love blowing things up. I play Minecraft on the Xbox One with my son and he yeah, he just loves to destroy things really. Do you know what? And I, I, I get it. I really do get it because it's so much fun blowing stuff up. Right, okay, so we've got some gold. I'm having that. Um, 
but we haven't got any more netherite but that's not a problem because we will find some I'm absolutely certain so I'm gonna ha we might as well gather up the resources that present themselves there's no point in leaving them just to just to stew we might as well have it right okay so this now is a new chunk you can see the chunk border here so again we'll stand up against this wall we'll punch a two by one hole in there get a bed and place it right at the bottom of that corridor <laughs> boom we've got any we've got some lava there you see there's loads of lava there so quite frankly i don't think it's i think it's worth going through the trouble of trying to mop that up because there's so much of it um, I can't see any netherite scraps there anyway um, so let's let's go back out to our tunnel and move on to the next chunk so where I'm lost now where's my tunnel is this the tunnel no because it doesn't go anywhere where's my tunnel oh do you know I'm hopeless I get lost so easily it's not there is it no um, hmm. Well, like, oh, I don't know. I'm at a loss now. I don't know where the tunnel is. What a plonker, seriously. Okay, so I've found my tunnel. I've put some white wool there just to mark it because uh, I, I'm very easily disorientated. Um, and I need to be able to find my way out because I certainly don't want to be digging upwards towards the lava lake. That won't do at all. So, right, okay, so here we are now. We're coming to a new chunk. We can see that here with the, the chunk border there exposed. So we're going to rinse and repeat. We're going to do the same thing and place a bed right at the bottom there. And then, boom. Oh, I got fired on. Oh, I'm going to die, I'm going to die, I'm going to die. Oh, no. Oh, no, I died. Well, that didn't go to plan, did it? Right, let's get back, let's get back into the nether. Oh, my days. Right, so it is possible to die, as you can see. You still have to be extremely careful because, of course, you're playing with lava and fire. And when you're exploding beds in the nether, they create fire. It sets the nether rack on, on fire, as you saw. Um, now, it's not too much of a problem because the chunk in the nether won't be loaded. Uh, so my gear is should be safe. I mean, it, some, I suppose some of it may well have burnt in the, in the fire. I don't know. We'll see when we get back. So I'll see you when I get back there and we'll see how I've gone saving my gear. Okay, so we're heading back down the tunnel now. <laughs> Let's just hope my gear survived. I hope it did. It'd be really nice if it did. It's not there, it's down here. There we go. There it is. Now, it looks like I've got quite a bit of the stuff there. So, with any luck, I've been extremely lucky. Yeah. Uh, what have we missed there? I'm missing a sword. That's because that's there. Uh, let's put the sword in there. We've got a fire resistance potion. I'm going to keep that in my hand. Uh, put my food back in there. And the chest back up there. Get a bed in there. Right, okay, brilliant. So we're all good. We're all good. Wasn't, uh, wasn't too bad. Not as bad as it could have been. But it just goes to show and demonstrate that messing about in the nether with fire and lava is not safe. <laughs> you must, must be careful. And I didn't even uncover any netherite for all my troubles. Goodness me. Right, never mind. Right, let's get into this. So here we are coming up to the, the next chunk border. Uh, so let's wipe down. Where's my pickaxe? There's my pickaxe. Let's walk down another bed and see what happens. Oh, set on fire again. Goodness me, fire resistant potion. There we go. Right, okay. It's a very risky business, isn't it? Good grief. Thank goodness for the, uh, the piglins and the fire resistance potions. And I still haven't found any netherite. Is there any down there? No. Oh well. Let's put out all of these fires so that we can see properly. There definitely isn't any netherite there. But, you know, it is a rare block, so we're not going to find it every time. 
but we've got two pieces which is more than I expected to find on the first go goodness me okay so I'm gonna place another bed be here and see if we can uncover any netherite uh, so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna carry on doing this uh, until I run out of beds and um, when I run out of beds I'll uh, I'll move on um, but this is definitely the favorite technique this is definitely uh, the, the best way to go about finding um, netherite scraps and as I say it was Nembon that pioneered the idea uh, and he did a lot of research and discovered that Y level 15 was the sweet spot was the best place to start exploding things uh, simply because as I say you've got the chance of finding it on Y level 16 and 14 so above and below Y level 15 of course well, that's a good little uh, haul of gold, isn't it? Right, okay, so I'm going to carry on placing these beds and I'll bring you back when, I've, when I'm done. We'll see how many, how much netherite we've found. And I've found one more piece uh, of netherite scraps with my uh, last bed. Um, so that's it for now. I'm going to head back to base because I want to show you what I've been doing there. Uh, last time, you may remember, I started to build my first house. So I've got to finish that off and we'll do that together now. Let's get this piece of netherite and I'll see you back at base. Fantastic. I've brought you back now. We're on our, on our way back to my base. I've started to dig out the nether tunnel in readiness to complete the uh, design all the way down uh, to the spawn portal. I've completed the first section, uh, which is this, and I think it looks really nice. What do you think? Let me know in the comments what you think because I'd really be interested to know. Uh, on the way back I realised that I was calling this stuff netherite scraps and of course it isn't, it's ancient debris. Um, and you probably knew that and was screaming at the screen. It's not netherite scraps, it's ancient debris. Well, yes I know, I know. But as you know, I'm a plonker, so... But yeah, um, so we're back at base now. I'm just going to have a sleep and I'll show you the house. Okay, so in order to craft our netherite scraps we need to put the ancient debris into a furnace and cook it like you would with any other ore um, and we'll see how many netherite scraps we get so that's one I wonder I think you probably just get one netherite scrap per piece of ancient debris that would be my feeling and it looks like that's what's happening but I don't know how many netherite scraps you need to make an ingot I assume nine can we no we can't do anything with that can we so I'm, I'm assuming you'd have to fill this grid with uh, netherite scraps in order to get one ingot and then you can combine that with your diamond gear in a smithing table and turn it into netherite so I'm gonna put that in here and keep it safe because I don't want that to go anywhere uh, and get that gold in there and Bob's your uncle okay so this is the house oh, let's get rid of this fella while we're at it missed stay still there you go and another one and another one there you go okay so this is the house as it stands I've still got to put the eaves in there uh, and we've got to decorate it inside but for my first proper residence, I think it looks it looks okay. Like I say, it's not massive, um, but it's certainly bigger than that thing there. Um, and we've got a little balcony. It's looking out to the east, so we can watch the sun rise every morning while we're having our coffee and reading the Minecraft news. Now I need to put some decoration around the house as well. Uh, we need to. I'm going to put like a little garden, perhaps a little pond, uh, and just pretty it up a bit really and make it look nice but for now i'm going to say bye bye thank you so much for watching i appreciate it every time you come along and if you've liked the episode please press the like button and if you've really enjoyed it consider subscribing because it really does help the channel out loads and if you don't want to miss any of my uploads in the future press the bell icon and i'll be sure to let you know the next time i upload a video but for now thanks for watching bye